name is Deborah Hauser. I'm the author of Ennui from the Diagnostic and Statistical Field Guide of Feminine Disorders. Like Wallace Stevens, I'm an insurance professional leading a double life. Poet is my secret identity. I'd like to thank Babylon Village Arts Council and Rose Norman for supporting poetry in Babylon Village. I'm pleased to be the head of the poetry program for the Arts Council and look forward to resuming our readings at Jack Jack's as soon as we can. This is the poem I carried in my pocket for Poem in Your Pocket Day in April. I chose it to remind myself that even the most ordinary day offers moments to let sky, love, and light pour into you. I hope you find your moment to glow today. There Are Mornings by Lee Zell Mueller. Even now, when the plot calls for me to turn to stone, the sun intervenes. Some mornings in summer, I step outside and the sky opens and pours itself into me as if I were a saint about to die. But the plot calls for me to live, be ordinary, say nothing to anyone. Inside the house, the mirrors burn when I pass. This poem is from my series of fairy tale poems, Cinderella, Sleeping Beauty, all the princesses want something more. That unnameable something more often takes tangible shape in the form of a girl band, but what they really want is to connect with each other, to leave the confines of the castle, to go out into the world, to have their voices heard. After. After the wedding, they never dance again, except as required at state functions. The glass slippers forgotten at the back of the closet she wears Crocs and Uggs. Sleeping Beauty calls. They talk about starting a girl band, but the timing is never right. Her first book, Cinders, is a blockbuster memoir about her fairy tale rescue. She confesses that even the palace is full of ashes to sweep when you're a woman. The marriage falls apart when he sleeps with the stepsisters during her book tour. She sells the slippers on eBay, goes back to school for a degree in women's studies and writes a second book on feminist philosophy. How to survive happily ever after.